Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be part 31 of our Snowflake Zero to Hero series. In this video, we will be understanding that how you can control the snowflake cost or how you can basically monitor that for which warehouse you are going to spend this much. So just imagine that you are working on, uh, on a big team and there you have 20 plus warehouses. Now your manager is saying that hey, uh, like for the warehouse fifth, I should not spend more than 20 credits or I should not spend more than 50 credits because this is only and only used by a use for just some sandbox. So we won't be handling any large amount of data. So make sure that all those kind of a warehouses we have in our account should not exceed a limit of 20 credits, 50 credit, or let's say 100 credit. That can be again defined by your account, by account admin or by your manager. So if you're using our Snowflake or any other cloud data warehousing, it's very essential these days that we should keep track of our uses and staying within a budget with uh, like staying within a budget. So fortunately, Snowflake offers two things. One is the resource monitoring and second is the budgets. So we will be talking about the resource monitor in this video. So what exactly is the uh, resource monitor? In a nutshell, we can say resource monitor is a feature of the Snowflake, which is going to allow you to keep an eye on your credit uses. And then it also going to give you control on uh, your compute uh, machines means your warehouses, which means that if there is one warehouse in my account and I do not want that this warehouse should spend more than 100 credit for this particular cycle like a weekly or monthly then yes you can control it by the help of this resource monitor. So resource monitor can help you to control cost and avoid unexpected credit uses caused by any running warehouses. Okay so with this with the resource monitor you can track credit uses in real time. So you are always up to date that how much you are consuming and you can basically uh, dig further that which query or which warehouse or uh, who is the particular role who are consuming most and at what time. So this is again, you can basically take help of the account you just schema and some uh, those views like query history and the uh, warehouse meeting history and if you want you can have a detailed chart and you can even create a snowshine dashboard on top of that so first thing it is going to help you to track credit uses in real time second is it is going to set the custom credit quota for any specific warehouse in fact you can even set this quota on your on your account level also which is going to ensure that you are not going to accidentally uh, hit your budget or not going to accidentally blow your pockets. The, uh, then the next is you can even set uh, this, you can even use a, uh, this resource monitor to create alerts and send you notifications whenever there is the uses of 20%, 30%, 50% up to like that. So I'm sure that most of you guys who would be using, some of you would be using Geo and uh, if you have if you're using geo prepaid and once you consume your like 1 gb out of your 1.5 gb and then you get one message that you have consumed 80 percent of your uh, data or 50 percent of your data you have consumed 99 percent of the data so these are the kind of uh, alerts you are getting so that the geo is actually trying to notify you that you just have only 10 mb left or 100 mb left and in case you want to use more you have to pay 15 rupees, 20 rupees, or uh, just for the top up. So the credit uses limit, we can set it for a specific interval, which can be date, which uh, like for a week or a uh, day or a month or particular cycle. So once that limit is reached and a specific threshold meet, then the resource monitor is going to trigger various action. Either it's gonna send you an email or it gonna run, sorry, it gonna suspend that warehouse. Okay, so let us see that in our Snowflake account that how we are going to create this resource monitor. So I'll come into my Snowflake account and once I come over here, then you can, okay, let me just go back to the home page now so that you can uh, like navigate. So once you come over here, make sure you are the account admin, otherwise you won't be able to create it. You come into the admin sections and there 
once you see the first option we have the cost management so this cost management this is going to be an account overview earlier this option was not there they have added from i guess past eight or one year uh, so if you guys would be working on this uh, legacy ui classic ui then uh, this option was not even uh, then uh, it was not, were not available there at that time also so it's just going to show you that okay how much you have spent in the currency and how much you have spent in the credits so after that like you can see that there is one option of the resource monitor now at this stage i do not have any resource monitor in my account so i'll go to the plus icon plus resource monitor and then the very first thing is i'm gonna name it so you can mention it something like rm1 rm2 or probably it's going to be your uh, related to any particular warehouse or you can say, say sandbox alert anything whichever you want now uh, if you're working on any project so you can use the project name and you can take the alert now how much the credit code you wanted to give them for, for that particular cycle so if you have 50 then you can just say 50 because you're just gonna have this thing in your mind that these people are not going to play with so many so much of the complex data they will be just writing select star and all and then i should probably give them a 50 credit because i'm gonna assign them access small or max you can just assign them a small warehouse now next thing is select monitor type so as i mentioned that you can monitor either on the account level or on the warehouse level so i can simply select on the warehouse side and then whatever the warehouse you wanted to control on then you need to choose that one so if you can just analytics training the warehouse spy agency or something i'm just going for compute warehouse which everyone you will be seeing in your account also now, next thing is we have the schedule. So whether you wanted to schedule this money, uh, like you wanted to start immediately and never at the reset monthly. So at this stage, like the by default, you will be getting a monthly cycle. That means for every 30 days, they are going to give you means the admin is going to give 50 credit or for that particular warehouse. Okay, so you can even customize it. What if you just wanted to give on a a weekly basis so you have this option resets you're going to click on that and you can change daily weekly yearly or never so if you're going to give a daily you know again it depends on your data it depends upon your use case or you can even select a weekly now once you select a weekly so it's a immediately or you have a custom start date when you want it to start it i want it to start from tomorrow i want to start from monday you can select that and then you are going to give a custom end date so you can probably give it like uh, anything let's say 7th of may so this is something which you can just probably like do it so it's going to be start monitoring i'm going to apply it so it's uh, going to be start on 7th of april and then end monitoring you can just change it if you want let's say 13 or anything i mean because we're just going for this weekly and all so custom and date and i'm gonna apply that whatever you want you can just play with that okay so i'm just going to set this uh, resets as a monthly now this is going to start immediately but no let me just start it from uh, this one wait a minute all right and then i'm gonna click on apply now you can have some actions so there are two which will be on the suspending the warehouses and then you can have five more actions which is going to notify you let's see how many actions we can get i'm just going to click on add 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 and now this option got disabled so one two three four five so you will be getting five actions or five notification you can send like a 10 percent 20 percent 40 percent 60 80 and 100 percent but these are the two one two actions where you will be getting the chance to control your warehouse means to suspend your warehouse so if i'm gonna click on that suspend so first thing let's say i'm as soon as i reach to the 50 percent of the credit quota i should get one notification then i'm going to write as soon as i teach at 90 percent of the quota means the 50 uh, around like 45 credit is consumed by this compute warehouse i will be getting an email 
then we do have these two two things two actions if you're going to look at on a higher side or like then you might be thinking hey, both are the same then what is the difference yes there is a one difference and the difference is just an immediately so if you're going to read it uh, first uh, just read it loud the suspend or disable immediately and notify when this percent of credit is used that means if i am going to write that 99 percent of the credit consumption is done then it is going to suspend that warehouse immediately that means all the background running queries the queries which is running in the background then they will also be aborted and this warehouse is going to be suspended immediately but here if i write 98 percent or something that means suspend or disabled and notify when this percent of credit is used that means if the if the, there are a few queries which is running in the background but still that warehouse reached to the 98 percent of the limit still those query will get executed first and then your warehouse will be stopped or warehouse will be disabled so now once you're going to click on that and you are going to write create resource monitor so that's how your first resource monitor is created but this is something which we have created from the ui but is there any option that we can write an sql to create it answer is yes in fact let's just look at into the monitoring into the query history that did we get anything yes you look at this if i'm going to open this query and scroll down here then we have create resource monitor the name the credit quota frequently start timestamp is immediately end timestamp is then and then we do have this trigger so i'm going to copy it and then come back to my new worksheet we can probably use it as a resource monitor and here i'm gonna write that so let me set it in this way that you can easily read it we do have these many things and then these are the triggers that means on 90 percent do suspend so this is my first trigger second we do have this one third and fourth so this is the kind of a statement you have to write if you do if you do want to create this with the help of the sql now at the end time stamp this 2025 0404 something but it's definitely it's not correct so you can probably like uh, maybe like put it this six way or 10 something like that and it's going to be started at 2025 0404 and let me see that if i can create create or resource monitor then i'm going to write abc monitor and here i can just simply click on that so this is also how you can create all right now one more thing if you will look at it if i come back into the query history here i created this warehouse but then i have created i have run like uh, this background executed one query alter warehouse set resource monitor equal to sandbox alert that means when you are going to write the statement there you are not passing any state and uh, not passing any warehouse however after that you need to run a query to alter that warehouse and you are going to set resource monitor equal to abc monitor that means on that warehouse you are going to allocate this resource monitor and you will be getting all the notifications whatever you have defined or you have set over there so i just come into the resource monitor that's it so why we are covering this resource monitor because if you remember in my last video when i was explaining about the secure data sharing and there you had the adoption on the consumer side you were creating a warehouse and you were requiring an option so that you can control the cost but as a provider so that the consumer cannot expend more than uh, a number of credits 
So this is the same thing which you can do and you can create a resource monitor, you can control on that and those actions you can define. Okay, so now we can create resource monitor on a different uh, like uh, we can create an account level also on the end second we can create on the warehouse level. Okay, that's something we have already discussed. Now, an account level resource monitor does not override the setting for individual warehouse. That means if either the account or the warehouse monitor hits its limit and has a suspend an action set, then the warehouse will be paused. Second is the account level monitor does not control credit uses for Snowflake serverless features. If I do have a resource monitor, which I set it on account level, which is not going to control the credit users by serverless, which means Snowpipe, Metalize View, automatic clustering, means reclustering, those many services cannot be controlled by account level resource monitor. However, a warehouse level monitor, a warehouse level resource monitor can track cloud service credit uses, but cannot stop it. Even if a warehouse is paused, in the background running queries may still lead to additional cloud service charges. So this is these are the few points which we need to remember that okay, we even though we are going to create an account level resource monitor, then it cannot override the setting of individual warehouse one. And second, account level monitor cannot control, I mean does not control the credit uses by the Snowflake serverless features. And even if we are going to use a warehouse level monitor, then it cannot stop to use the background serve. Uh, it cannot uh, stop the cloud services credit users. Okay, so that's it for today. So make sure whether you're managing a small project or a large scale data operation project, using resource monitor is an effective way to ensure that your Snowflake users stay within the budget and you avoid any unexpected charges. So thank you for watching. Be sure that you are going to hit the like button. And if you found this video helpful, then please subscribe this channel and share with your friends. Thank you so much.